Hi guys, so this is editing Trista. Oh my goodness, why is it like this? I don't know, even know how to Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I would like, I'm showing you guys something interesting that I found at Farmhouse Teas. When I first got it in the mail, I loved, I was very much attracted to the detailing around the box. And it is just so nice and beautiful and I just love the detailing around it and um, y'all come back you hear? <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny so let me just show you guys what's inside the box and some of the things that I ordered so on the website I, I actually came across this website because I was looking for something specific and found that they had a lot of interesting flavors and I just wanted to try it here is one of the flavors that they got um, I'm showing you some of the ingredients that's on this particular tea I got two tea samples and I'm excited to try it this one in particular is um, if you're trying to get off coffee they have a whole bunch of um, tea that you can try here's a little bit about the company and I just love their statement as well and again if you would like more information there is a description at the bottom in the um, uh, description box below so here is just some of the tea there's three types of teas that you can order and here is some um, written uh, note that she sent in this package and I thought was really personalized and I loved it love it love it so let me show you the, the first tea that I found that was interesting and that I'm excited to try which is the birthday cake look at that I love that birthday cake tea and I thought that was really fun uh, some of the ingredients is red ro rooibos um, licorice root, uh, grown bachelor buttons, condula, rose petals, and organic extracts. They had a carrot cake, and this is the cranberry spice tea that I'm looking forward to trying as well. In this video, I am um, I'm going to show you guys what um, the carrot cake and the birthday cake taste like. So stay tuned, okay? So this is just some of the ingredients inside of the carrot cake. Again, I thought that was funny, and that's pretty much it. Look at that. I mean, just really simple packaging, and I just love it. So again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and stay tuned for the taste testing. okay guys so I was really excited to try each of these flavors and these are the top two that I'm excited about so um, what I'm showing you is just each cup um, will have um, uh, each of the teas inside of the cup and I'm just reading the instructions the uh, harvest carrot cake tea sounded interesting to me so I started with that and when I opened the package I was just blown away at just how um, much it does smell like carrot cake and here are the ingredients it's honey bush cinnamon ginger carrots actual pieces of carrot nutmeg hazelnut raisins stevia leaf and organic extracts and it just says to um, use a teaspoon of loose leaf tea and eight ounces of water and then let it sit for six to eight minutes and that is what you see me doing right here I have a little small cup and just rereading the instructions and it's super easy um, uh, to try and I just want to make sure that you guys see you know each one that I'm using I'm definitely trying the um, birthday cake the birthday cake was really what um, what uh, motivate me to uh, to purchase this so I'm showing you that is the birthday cake and look at that and again um, I'm smelling I'm about to smell the um, the birthday cake tea and to me it actually just smells like um, rooibos tea if you haven't had that um, it just has like a earthy type smell um, it's like tea uh, it doesn't smell like green tea or anything like that it's it's rooibos so that is really good and I, and again I'm just looking at the ingredients and just how um, beautiful it also looks on the inside later on in this video I show you what, what it looks like and so this is the same instructions a teaspoon of the of the loose leaf tea and then 68 ounces of water almost boiling boiling water and then seven to ten minutes of steeping time and so here I'm showing you guys what it actually looks like look at that it just has all of the oh uh, l let me tell you the um, ingredients red rooibos licorice root or oregon 
organ grown bachelor buttons, candula, rose petals, and an organic extract. So that was interesting. And then I'm showing you the harvest uh, carrot cake tea. And I'm showing you what is inside of that as well. And I just read you. Do you see the pieces of carrot on there? Look at that. Pieces of carrot with honey bush tea. Now, um, honey bush tea and red and red rooibos tea are both red types of tea, but it, each is different. And I just can't stop smelling the uh, the carrot cake tea. But um, they both are from South Africa. Okay, guys. So this is editing Trista right now, and I am just realizing that after I tried the after I poured in the hot water, I didn't press record. So you guys did uh, I just miss everything. So I'm still trying to get back into recording, but all right. So the carrot cake one, this is the one right here. I loved it. I love it. It's not too sweet. You do taste um, uh, the raisin and the, um, the licorice. It's not strong. I know some people don't like a lot of licorice, but um, you do taste uh, the sweetness, but mostly the carrot, I mean, is all throughout the whole tea. Highly recommend the carrot cake one. The birthday cake is okay. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting because based on the ingredients, you don't get a lot of, because it has a lot of flour ingredients, you don't get a lot of the, um, like fruitiness i was thinking like fruity type you know when they when they say birthday i was thinking something like that but um to me it just tastes like um it has a little bit of the licorice that i is a hint of it and then red rooibos tea is what's in it and so that's a big part of it as well and so that is mostly what i taste in the birthday cake tea so in my book the um the uh, Harvest Carrot Cake is my number one, and I definitely highly recommend that one. But if you just like just plain, you know, it's not even plain, but it's just, you just get a little bit of the um, rooibos, and like I said, the, the licorice, and there is stevia in it as well. So there's the sweetness, and other than that, yeah, I love the carrot cake. But I will definitely have the carrot cake at night and then the um, red rooibos in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will let you guys know if I try the cranberry. I haven't tried that one yet. I just love anything cranberry. So to me in my book, it's already uh, an A+. Plus, so. so let me know in the comments below what kind of tea is your favorite. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm still getting back into um, vlogging and turning on my camera. So. You guys be blessed.